Raise your leg if you hear me. Raise your leg if you want chocolate. Selective hearing. I've seen the world on my own, but it doesn't look the same. Black and blue, and I don't know why I ever looked away. The sun is always shining, even when it goes away. Until it comes back around, I'm here to light the way. Okay, we're starting to swing out, Ive. Yep, yep. Get the other one. Watch the bow, push the bow. Yep. Yep, it's okay. Good throw, Nice. Push, pull us out now, Dex. Tied on and all are we? Through the lens of us, every time I look at That's you. right. Now Dicklin's got us. I haven't seen. Keep pumping, pumping. Go get Dicklin. Waves are changing, coming, crashing in the blue. Right into the morning light, I'm holding on to you. We're better together. So we left Exmouth this morning, uh, did a final shop and um, got some provisions, don't know how long we're going to be able to re-provision again. We're off to Lighthouse Bay which is around the northern tip of the Exmouth um, Peninsula. Um, and we're just going past the, uh, those extremely low frequency radar, radio thingy me doodars. And uh, I must say, the more I've learned about these things, I'm kind of a little bit more anxious about them now than I was about being up in the Monte Bellows where the, uh, where the nuclear tests were done, were conducted. Um, just because there does seem to be a little bit of, um, well, this radio frequency stuff can be a bit marginal um, as our mate Dan told us when he was on board with us uh, a month or so back. Yeah so that's uh, the VLF base which stands for very low frequency very you know highly uh, intellectual term but basically it's a um, submarine communication station and it's the biggest submarine communication station in the world and I know all this because I got to go in there once upon a time uh, which most people who live in Exmouth have never set foot in there. It's top secret uh, and it's, it's run by 50% the American Navy and 50% the Australian Navy. And basically um, they communicate with submarines all over the, all over the world. Uh, and there's all these rumours about the VLF base. Like there's one rumour in Exmouth that there's actually tunnels that go in under the VLF base and the submarines go in there and pop up and they have this big submarine base. Don't know if that's true. Um, the other um, rumour is that uh, the Harold Holt, who was the Australian Prime Minister in, in 1966, he came up here and opened this base and it was very controversial because the, the Russians back then, you know, there was all this stuff about the Soviets and, and submarines and anyway, he came up here, opened this base, it's called the Harold Holt Naval Base and a week later, he was a strong swimmer, used to go spear fishing all the time. A week later, Cheviot Beach in 1966, he went for his morning swim and totally disappeared. And the rumour at the time was that the Russians had picked him up in a submarine and whisked him away for interrogation and he was never seen again. The other thing that happened more recently was that a Qantas jet was flying over and lost all power and basically dived about 10 or 15,000 feet and people in there had broken collarbones and all sorts of things and a lot of people said it was because of the the uh, you know it messed around with their communication system on the jet so anyway it's this VLF base and what happens is all those big antennas you see are in a star formation and it goes up in this mushroom cloud of radio waves it goes it goes up and then it mushroom clouds down and then spreads out across the world's oceans and, um, and that's how they communicate with all these submarines around the world. 
and the middle tower is called Tower Zero and that is taller than the Empire State Building. It's really, really tall. I've been inside, I was lucky enough, I was working on a film and we, one of the ladies in, in the film crew actually worked on there so she got us in and, uh, and basically we were getting all of our stuff out of the car and she said you've got eight seconds to get from the car to the building. The building's lead lined because of the amount of radiation and I thought she was joking. Anyway, so I'm mucking around on the boat, getting the, the camera out, getting all the film stuff and I hear this screaming and they're all standing in the building yelling at me and I thought, oh my goodness, it's actually real! So I raced to the building, I was probably about 12 seconds, not 8 seconds, it may have affected me. Um, yeah, definitely affected me. Um, but yeah, so, and when we got inside, it was like walking into the Pentagon, there was like wall-to-wall -wall screens, there was, you know, people in uniform, tracking all this stuff around the world. Um, so yeah, that's the VLF base in Exmouth. Yeah. What's happened? Well, we've just gone to lift the anchor and we are hooked on a rock. It's all bombing. Yeah. It's probably rock, there's lots of rock around the shoreline. Yeah. Which is all bombings, but. So who are you going to call? The EMC, Rachel. Damn right. We need the EMC. It's been a while. It's been a while, actually, because we called up the ENC. But uh, no, we'll give him a whistle up and, uh, and off he goes. Declan. Have you heard what's happened outside? Mm-hmm. Yeah? And what are your thoughts? We need to get going because the, the uh, wind is just right. Time to get up, babe. We need to release the uh, anchor chain. Nod if you hear me. <laughs> oh, nice one. Dear sweet sleeping boy. Can you do it? Can you raise to rise to the occasion? Come on. I have to get Ivan up too because we'll need all of us. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Ivanovich. We call on your expertise. We need you. Ivan. Actually, this is important. You need to get up now because we need to get going because we need to catch the wind before it changes and, we, and we're caught on a rock or a bommy. Get deck on. Yeah, he's going to get up, but it'll take all four of us. Are you with me? Raise your leg if you hear me. Raise your leg if you want chocolate. Selective hearing. chain off a bit actually Oz. Hey Rachel, if we let off some more chain, is it okay to go out there? No, I don't think we need any more chain at the moment. Okay. Come over here, come over here. Okay. I can start turning up. By, by moving around us, you are now completely clear. Just need to pull it in. That was easy. Yeah, the anchor's right here. Yeah, it's all out, it's all out. That's good. Good job, Dex, good job. You say good work, team. Yeah. I thought it was going to be a lot harder. It was so tight really? around underneath one of these um, yeah. outcrops of coral. Yeah. Just by, by um, Thanks, the boat boys. around, I missed the anchor coming out because I couldn't see because the boat was uh, cutting out the light down to the bottom. Okay, I'll be go. Yep. Boat is off. No one at the helm. Woo! Crisis averted. Now I can finish my cup of tea. Oh, yeah. Honestly, hard day's uh, hard start to the day. Oh, God. Okay. 
If you enjoyed this episode, please comment, give us a thumbs up, and best of all, share it. It helps us heaps. Come on, Eni.